This is Cuc Phuong National Park, Vietnam's first national park, the country's largest nature preserve, and a critical site for biodiversity. Hội An was rescued from a private zoo in Hội An. When she first got here, she was very, pretty fat because she was fat with the wrong diet. Now, some of these private zoos I hear are actually fronts for wildlife trading. Yes, yes. This could be uh, wildlife trading or it's laundering. Laundering? Yes. Right. So the zoos just kind of like the animals come in, they get sold to private traders, all under the guise of yes. being in a zoo. Yes. The people here are doing more than just holding space for nature to do its thing. They are also rehabilitating creatures mm -hmm. who were yeah. illegally poached from the wild. Saving animals sounds like pure adventure, but the devil is always in the details. Taking on responsibility includes nitty-gritty tasks, like constantly preparing meals for the animals. Who's the lucky binturong that's going to get this snack? Some animals are easier to feed than others. Ah, it's a nice little stash. This thing weighs uh, at least 20 pounds. If that's 20 pounds worth of ants, there's horror inside this bag. <laughs> so we just take this thing off and then dump it. And then you use a hand to take one nest and put it Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! You gotta be quick. <laughs> okay. Do. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Get it off, get it off! <laughs> Those ants look mean. So it's sort of an uphill battle, right? Mm. Against the poachers, against the industry. Mm. Are you hopeful that you can win this battle? Yeah, we, we always believe that. So we believe that uh, what, what we are doing will, will, will win. Mm. Fantastic. You're a hero, man. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to meet you, brother. Okay, yeah. Thanks for letting me take part of that. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think of you every time I find an ant in my clothing today. Yeah. <laughs>